In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to remove a background from in using Photoshop Elements 8. Unfortunately, Photoshop Elements 8 does not have masking, but actually Photoshop Elements 9 does, and it's just over here. But I'm going to show you the old-fashioned way of faking a mask using Photoshop Elements 8 or previous versions. So first I'm going to open up the image. I'm going to hit File Open. I have my image here. What I like to do when I open up my image, I usually like to unlock the main layer. And I'm going to add a new layer. Clicking once there, and I'm going to drag this transparent layer underneath this layer. So I'm going to hold my mouse button down, let go. I'm going to grab my paint bucket. I like this purple color that I've set for foreground. I'm going to fill in here. And now I'm going to add an adjustment level. Now I could create a mask easily by pressing this button, but in Photoshop Elements 8, you don't have the layer mask option. So I'm going to click on an adjustment level, maybe just select levels. And I want to group this photograph with this level. So what I'm going to do is with this selected, I'm going to hold Apple G on my keyboard with a Mac or Control G on a PC. Watch what happens. You get a little indent here with an arrow. That means this layer is attached here to this mask. I'm going to click here, and we can start erasing parts of the image. I can set my foreground color to black, click the paintbrush tool, and I can make my brush a little bit bigger by pressing the brackets on my keyboard, or I can make it larger here, putting in numbers here. So I'm going to start coloring in parts of the teacher here. Now, what's great about masking is I've gone over the edge here, which isn't great. So I can flip over to white, which was my background color, and start coloring again. So that's what's great. Instead of using the eraser tool, I can always go back this way and go back to work uh, using my black color. So this could be tedious. There's ways around this to make this go a little bit faster. So for instance, I've gone up to here. So I'm happy with that. I don't want this blue to be attached. So I'm going to color here. Perfect. Now I'm going to select my magic wand tool. And my tolerance, you can always change the tolerance. I'm going to click once here and watch what happens. I'm selecting all the blue around uh, this teacher's head. And I'm going to fill this with black. So to do that, I can hit Edit, Fill Selection with black, hit OK. And now I've removed that. I can hit Select, Deselect. And there's very little blue on the edge. And I can go back to coloring with black. I notice I've missed a bit here, missed a bit here. And I've missed a bit here. Again, I can grab my magic wand tool, maybe decrease the tolerance a bit, 50. And I can hit Alt Backspace. That's a fast way to fill with the foreground color. Okay. And I have to deselect if I want to keep using the paintbrush. So I've hit Select, Deselect. And again, I can start coloring here to get rid of the edge. So looking good, I'm cutting out my individual here. And I'll be able to paste them on a transparent background or a different background. So I missed a bit here as well. Purple probably wasn't the best color. If I'm not happy with that color, I can always change it. I don't know, let's use white, or dark green. Okay, and I can see better. Make sure I click on this layer. I can get rid of more things. So if you're not happy with the blue as well, you can zoom in into the hair and I can try to get rid of some of that blue as well. I noticed here I missed a section here. 
So again, by using a layer mask, I'm going to zoom out here. I can fix up that hair later as well. I could darken it, uh, but I'm not going to show you that. But this is just a quick way of uh, masking and removing a background. That way you can insert someone into a different place or put them on a transparent background using Photoshop Elements 8.